Hello, my name is Jarek Kolaars. And uh, 20 years ago, me and the team at Pteradon have done this game. So today we have an anniversary. And for this event, I would like to share with you some stuff that was hidden from you. So I have actually uh, got some footage from 2001 which is a development diary that actually reveals that the game Vietcong was originally supposed to be game Rambo. But thanks God, it ended up being Vietcong. Rather than simply using a storyline of existing movies on Rambo, we decided to narrate his Vietnam War adventures. The story itself is a fiction, of course, but it's really the cherry on a huge cake of subtext of real war, the cultural and historical events that took place at the end of 1967 and beginning of 1968. John Rambo participates directly or indirectly in actions inspired by real operations carried out in the NAM. Like a dog without a bone and actor out of Actually, the project is divided into two parts. On one side, we have the single player game in which the player controls the character of John Rambo and goes through the pre planned actions that put together make an interesting story. On the other side, we'd like to use to the full the created world of Vietnam gripped by war for a great multiplayer project. So, the player becomes one of the soldiers and, depending on his experience and specialization, he'll have certain vocation and rating. Large groups of players, then, will be able to meet in many and various battles created on basis of actual war operations that took place in Vietnam. Four of our designers are busy studying the materials and basic data. The American Army has declassified most of the documents and reports from the Vietnam War. Their study provides us with wonderful means of getting hold of topic for game tasks. Part of the team went and worked in Vietnam itself. They traveled through all the important places of Vietnam, the towns and villages, the plains, jungle, the coast, caves and the tunnels. We spoke with many people who had lived through the war and we diligently documented everything for the designation of the story and for the process of creating the graphics. It is the task for the designers now to join together this information based on reality with entertaining playability and in doing this to create really superb missions for the game. Design documents are ready and in use. Their English version is being translated. The motion of the characters and animations have been processed with the use of the Ascension Motion Capture at Illusion Software Disposal. Thanks to this, we can have plenty of quality animations and create a unique vivacity of all characters in the game. As far as the modeling of military equipment is concerned, we've been utilizing not only the photo documentation and blueprints, but we've been also working with plastic models. Using them allows us to make an exact model of desired technology in a very short time. We are creating the rest of the graphics from the great quantity of materials and data we've collected. The objects are of realistic proportions and thanks to detailed photorealistic textures, they are looking great. The game development is in full swing and according to expectations, the project should be finished in September 2001. 
It should be introduced to the gaming public in May 2001 during the planned public beta test.